I still don't know why you guys really want to do this. It's going to be fun and festive! Yeah, but I'm... Uh, she freaks me out. I mean... I have... But I, I, I'm sure it's going to be fun. I mean, maybe like, you know, what happened with Catherine was like a one-time thing. Yeah. Sucks you know? that Kitty had to leave or early, though. Thing, yeah. They would have had yeah. fun. Kind of cute that Catherine came to pick them up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're like, all right, sleepover time, over. You're going home. Oh, and then they're like, home. listen, no, we're lucky, I'm an, we're lucky that home. I'm an adult because otherwise she would have dragged me home. She would have picked it up. She would have been like, home. hello, I'm here to pick up my two children. <laughs> Just like in royal sleepovers. I guess so, yeah. God. Okay, but yeah, no, no. Sorry, Swan, but I'm, I'm definitely not doing it. But... But Aww. it's fun! I guess you already got a reading, didn't you? Yes, I actually technically got oh. one for free, and every time she sees me, she gets mad because she gave it to me for free. Ooh. Ugh. Ow! <laughs> Did you just get hit by a ghost? A ghost is real? I thought that was a story. So I don't want to think about that. Anyway, moving <laughs> on. Hey, hey, hey Marcia. No, nope, we're not talking about ghosts. <laughs> Where's the matchmaker? Uh, Where are we going? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe we should, you know, ask Dan who actually knows. Oh, stuff. yeah. It would kind of suck that if I don't go and do it, I think we should get another person. Huh? No. Swan, how do you feel about stopping by the barracks? What? Um. Mm -hmm. I Wait a minute. Uh, are you- you're not thinking what I'm thinking, are you? Uh, I've never been to the barracks. This will be fun. Well, uh, I can't yeah, where are they, wrong- actually? well, okay, there's actually two barracks. Um, but no, one the one there, that I where... stay at is, you know, the one over this way. I think someone in particular needs to get a love reading. Maybe. Uh, I mean- Am I missing something? You're not the only oh my one. Oh gosh, she hasn't seen, has she? Has she? You know magenta haired guy something. and big blue fish guy? Uh huh. We're pretty sure something is going on between oh, them and neither of them I say see. anything. I see. Okay. I mean, I you know, you know when like, I, I found Straw drunk that one night? Uh huh. Yeah. Amir let him stay after like he was closed and everything. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if he'll want to do this. However, I have an ace up my sleeve. As you see, um, because Strahd was mean to me the other day, and he apologized, he ended up giving me a favor. Oh, and I can oh. cash it in whenever I want. You're so, cashing it in you know, now? Oh, very right. interesting way to go. a favor. Well, I, okay, I, I think, is this gonna be fun? So... The, no, no, it's totally, Good afternoon, it guard! There's multiple of you, actually. There's a lot of Even you. Even if I'm not, like, They're in the tent the listening. Training, they won't like that. Oh, sorry. Okay, so... Hello, good sir. Or ma'am. Oh, I can't really just, tell with the armor. I'm go? sorry. Can we... Can we speak to Stra... Oh, hi. Can we speak to... Rude? I, I mean... Why, why, don't, why, why don't I just handle this? He should be around here somewhere. Swan murmurs, Swan. leading the group right up to the barracks. I'll run inside real quick and see if I can find him, she says, glancing back long enough to ensure everyone understands before she disappears inside. The rest of you are left waiting around, trying not to draw any unwanted attention from the guards making use of the outdoor training grounds nearby. A few minutes later, Swan exits, a tall magenta-haired man at her side. Darling, when I gave you that favor, I expected you to use it on something important, Strahd comments. Well, I'm bad with favors, Swan protests. Besides, you can thank Dan for the invite. It was his idea. Strahd fixes Dan with an unimpressed stare. I thought you had a disliking for the matchmaker, he notes with a raised brow. Swan must have caught him up on your plans while inside. We have our disagreements. Uh, it'll be fun, Marshy insists. Besides, you and Amir... Don't expect me to pay for this little excursion. Strahd quickly interrupts. I, I we totally have it covered. Don't worry about it. Marcy says. Then do lead the way. Strahd draws. At the very least, it should prove entertaining. Oh, be entertaining, all right. 
We totally Coming have it covered, guys. Way. I forgot. I don't have any money, actually. Uh... No. <laughs> don't worry. I got some extra coins. Okay. Here, actually. Taz, here you go. I'm just gonna... Yeah, don't trust me with there that. There you go. I can probably cover my share. I stopped by my room and grabbed my Thanks for the side. money. I mean, I'm not going in there. Understandable. So it's like, I'm is just... the fortune teller person gonna like, is it like on site? She's gonna beat you up? It's like, that's what the situation I is? I, I, I mean, every so often it feels like actual like fire is getting burned into my soul whenever she sees me. So I probably. See. Uh, um, that's a little alarming, I, honestly. I don't, I don't know if it's a me thing or her thing, but oh, I this... either way don't want to see her. Hmm. Okay. Exotic fish. Um... Have you been down here? Uh, somewhat. Ew, I stepped in mud. Gross. Okay. Yep, here it is. <gasps> Free samples! Madam Matchmaker. What? Oh. As you approach the market stall, the aroma of rose petals and chocolate catches your senses. Dan steps slow to a stop as he makes his way over to the rather pink tent. There's no other way to describe it. From the outside inward, the entire stall looked like Cupid had come over and poured the entire contents of Valentine's Day in a small alley in Irwin. Sunny claps her hands together, her eyes large as she tilts her head from side to side, looking at the area curiously. How pretty! Yeah, but be careful. A dark woman works here. Ooh. Marshy's ears flick curiously before glancing back over to Dan. She makes a confused expression. Didn't we meet her at a charity event? She seemed mostly friendly there. She spoke. Swan shrugs briefly before glancing over over to the group. Sorry, I was muted. I mean... <laughs> Swan interjects. When Catherine got a reading, she seemed pretty freaked out. Strahd raises a brow, almost curious. And what devious tricks did she pull to unsettle Catherine, of all people? He muses. She was eccentric, to say the least, but rather harmless. Dan makes his way to the side of the tent, allowing his group of mates to ease easy access to the market stall. You don't know the things I've seen. You sure you still don't want your reading? Nope, Dan says plainly. However, a, small, a smile soon creeps up on his lips. He reaches out to you, Swan, before ruffling your hair. Don't worry about me. I'll be out here. If I get bored, I'll just look at some of the other stalls. He speaks before going to lean against the wooden post. Alright, I guess. Aside from Dan, the group begins to en enter the tent. Almost immediately, a woman peeks out from behind the two curtains. Her cat ears twitch and her face scrunches as she looks at, at you. Her hair looks a little messed up. You most likely just woken her up from a nap. Your thoughts are confirmed as she yawns gently into her palm and pulls away, being hidden from the curtains once more. A few, mo a few more seconds pass and she is soon walking out to you, her hair fixed in her lips in a perpetual smile. Hello, my sweet wandering lovers, she purrs to you, her hands clasping gently. What can I do for you today? Uh, we want some readings about love. What? Really? All of you? She squawks out, almost almost out of surprise. However, she quickly gathers herself, clearing her throat. <laughs> Sorry, this has been rather slow. I'm just surprised. You can see her tail stand up straight behind her, curling into a little question mark. Well, I hope you know that this is a paid service, though, she says rather curtly, as if ha half expecting you- uh, half expecting that you were expecting a free service. We have the month. Guys, consider that you- uh, Considering that all, all of you have never seen any signs about how much the readings cost, you all came up with different amounts of copper coins. However, no matter how small or large the payment, Madam Matchmaker eagerly took the coins. She begins to count very quickly, and you all watch her with some amazement and confusion. While you still couldn't hear the number, her expression gleams. Her mouth turns into a Cheshire cat smile, and she soon widely steps to the side. She points back towards the pink curtains she came from. Who wants to go first? Uh, 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 Have who's... fun, you guys! <sighs> oh, okay! I'll be here! Oh, who's first? Well... 
Shouldn't it be you? You're the <gasps> one who came up with this in okay, the first place. Okay, right, right. I gotta bite go, the bullet. Go, go. I gotta bite the... Okay, okay, okay. Bye, bye, bye. Don't worry. I'm right behind got... you. I'm right behind yeah. you. Yeah. Hi, hello, hello. Um, I just take up Papa Squat. Oh, there's the chair. There's the chair. Hi, hello. Don't worry. We're all just gonna sneak in here and watch the process. <laughs> okay. You sit down in the chair as the woman looks at you with a small smile. May I see your hand, young lady? The matchmaker says, gesturing to the table. You move your hand over to the woman. She carefully takes it and looks at, and looks at it. After a moment, she smiles. Your soul tells me that you are tied to a strong and determined person, the matchmaker says sagely. That is certainly vague. Strahd notes quietly. It's obvious by the t the the lilt in his voice that he doesn't have much of much faith in the these readings. I have no idea. What what does that mean exactly? It means what it means, the matchmaker says. But do you know who it is? Swine questions. I cannot tell of I cannot tell all of the future secrets, dearie. The matchmaker says with a wink as she continues to dodge the question. Um, okay. I hope you have a lovely day, she says with a smile. And she looks to the others. Unless one of you also wishes to be read. Well, I mean we did we did pay for this, so Yeah. Okay. Can I see mercy? You're next. Who's next? So, so determined? What is? I don't know. I don't know what that okay. means. Uh, is, is, is anyone around you particularly like strong-headed or something? Uh, there's a lot of people I know like that, bro. Oh, well, that doesn't narrow it down, uh, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh. Mm. Should I go next? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Hi. Uh, I'll I'll just uh take a take a little uh, seat, I guess. <laughs> um, I have a question. Just one voice's hand awkwardly raised. Are these fortunes real? She asks. You enter my tent, request a love reading, and then dare to question the legit legitimacy of my readings. The matchmaker demands. Swan's mouth snaps shut in embarrassment. Do you want a reading or not? The matchmaker questions with a huff. I want a reading, please. Uh, sorry. Uh... I don't know what that word is. Placated? Placated. Placated. I might have gotten an eye. Okay. Placated, the matchmaker nods stiffly. There's another awkward moment of silence before she gestures toward the chair. Take a seat, girlie. I haven't got all day, she urges. Swan scrambles over to the chair and sits at the edge of the seat, a leg bouncing nervously. She preemptively tr thrusts out her arm for the matchmaker to take, and the woman only gives her a mildly annoyed stare. Swan just tries not to combust. The matchmaker sighs, taking Swan's hand in her own. She traces the lines on Swan's palm, eyes closed. A minute passes, then two then three more. And as each minute passes, Swan grows more and more antsy. Uh, miss? Madam? Uh, is, uh, is everything alright? Impatient much? The matchmaker scolds, finally tearing her gaze away from her palm. The spirits had much to say, unless you'd rather I give you an incomplete reading. No, no, no! Swan hurriedly says. Your soul has many branches, near and far, past and future, the matchmaker starts. Wait, does that mean I have multiple lovers? Swan questions. No, the matchmaker replies, exasperated. Love was not in well, love was not in your cards this reason this reading. The spirit spoke instead of family. Family? Swan echoes uncertainly. Found family, girly. It sounds as if yours will grow like a tree. It will take root before branching out into a mighty giant. The matchmaker explains. 
Swan blinks owl owlishly. Uh, thank you. Swan rises from the chair and makes her way back to the others. Guys, why am I forever alone? Oh, this is so... Like, does the Nintendo set <laughs> level in my car? Does that mean, like, oh, I don't no. have a soulmate? I just... My like, no. found family Are is you... great, but... Bro, this I... is tragic, bro. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Well, at least you're gonna have a very big, happy family. I guess. I just don't know who all that family's gonna be well, yet, I guess. Kitty, Kitty's one of them, right? Like, yeah. they're like siblings, so there you yeah. go. I guess Catherine's one, too, and yeah. a lot of the people back from Bastios. Yeah, there you go. And then Catherine was your mom. Exactly. Uh, I guess, kind of, I don't know. I... <laughs> she certainly treats me like it. <laughs> I mean, ha- Yeah. Half hat. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you know, at least she doesn't try to give me a bedtime. Like Kitty. Oh, poor I Kitty. Hate, I hate this hitting my face all the time. Here, ah. well, here. Let's, you can go next, so you don't have to, like, get hit I, in the face yeah. all the time. I guess I can go. I'm gonna sit right here. Okay. That won't get mad if I sit. Don't look at me that way. <laughs> oh. Wait a second, I've first seen an issue. I think, I think... Backstage Taz was only instructed to give us the dialogues, no, no, except that's Taz was always supposed, <laughs> supposed to read the dialogue. <laughs> it's not in the I guess I can go. Here we Whoops. go. Taz volunteers. The matchmaker nods eagerly, gliding across the room and leading him to the now empty seat. Sit, sit. The spirits will surely know what your future holds. She coos. With some hesitance, Taz sits. Good, good. Now your hand, if you will, she requests. Taz holds out his hand, and the matchmaker takes it, takes it in her own. She examines it, turning it the turning it this way and that. This goes on for some time, and an unusual look of concentration falls over her features. Can you not read my future fortune or something? Taz finally asks after the fifth minute. The matchmaker starts as it- the matchmaker stares as if she's been in a daze. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes, she explains. The spirits have much to say, she says quick, quickly, grasp tightening on Taz's hand as if she were afraid he'd pull away. Taz frowns, growing more and more uncomfortable. Okay, they said their piece, so can you let go of my hand now? He grumbles. Yeah, you've been holding it for a while now. The matchmaker shakes her hand. Her the matchmaker shakes her head almost urgently, running a finger along one of the lines in Taz's palm. A little longer, please, she requests. The strange, this and and the strange serious of seriousness of it is what keeps Taz in his seat. Another minute, and she's and she released his palm. Taz lets out a relieved sigh and retracts his arm, only to find the matchmaker looking at him in intently. He lets out an he lets out almost. An almost grim chuckle, but it comes out as slightly awkward. Fortune that bad? <laughs> he asks. Something in his tone tells you he expected this. Mm, that depends, the matchmaker hums. On your definition of bad. Taz stares at her blankly, ears drawn back. So, so it's bad. He repeats, firmer this time. She shakes her head, clicking her tongue in a soft rep in a soft reprimand. It is as I thought. You've closed your eyes. She notes sadly, moving away from Taz. Strahd glances at Swan in a, in a, with a lopsided grin, lowering his voice to a mere whisper. She isn't one to say what she means, is she? He notes. I think she likes the theatrics of it. One of Taz's ears flicks in irritation. 
Is there an extra fee that you get you to speak plainly? He gripes, eyeing her path carefully. All will be clear if you only listen, the matchmaker replies. You came here for a love reading, but that is not what you need, she explains. You are wounded, she begins, wandering back towards Taz, who looks at her with confusion. Scarred. It may have only scratched the surface, broken only skin, but it traveled deeper and deeper. Taz rises from a seat, carefully moving a few paces back whenever he sh she'd come too close. Great. So you're saying I'm damaged goods. He draws. Really helping my confidence here. Oh, this is no issue of confidence, but belief. She stresses, pausing in place. That wound. It festers to this day. It has sealed your eyes, your heart. There can be no love until you are willing to see. Look, lady, I came here for a love reading, not some ominous message. Just, I don't know, make something up lovey-dovey for this. So this can be over already. Taz groans. Is this the treatment Catherine received? Strahd quietly asks Swan. Uh, I know this was meant of... to be my kind of dialogue. Oh, you can take it then. <laughs> kind of? It was just as ominous, and the matchmaker was pretty serious about hers, too. The matchmaker is silent for a moment. Then she smiles sadly. If you are unwilling to see, then I can do nothing, she states. Your hand, then, the matchmaker asks. Taz eyes her sus suspiciously. You already saw it. Yes, but you do not want to hear my reading. You want something lovey-dovey. This, so this can be uh, so this can be over already. She snips, holding out a hand rather impatiently. Hand. For a moment, Taz seems to debate, just leaving the tent entire. Debate just leaving the tent entire entirely but gives in and forks over his hand for a second time. The matchmaker examines it for maybe a second, before she nods, looking up at Taz. You will find love in the most unlikely of places, she says as if rattling off a script. She does not look particularly pleased. Great, but I had this experience. Taz grumbles, moving to retract his hand, only to find the matchmaker giving some resistance. This again, seriously, lady. I wasn't gonna bring this up, but there's a thing called personal space. Yeah, yeah. Listen, while I'm being nice, the matchmaker interjects, surprisingly snippy. Taz's rejection of her reading might have just irked her more than any of you had realized, but surprisingly, Taz shuts his mouth, although he does admittedly look confused. If I were you, I'd take a good hard look at the folks around you. And I mean real hard look. If you got any sense, which I doubt, you just might open those eyes of yours. She recommends, gesturing to the rest of the group. Marshy waves the moment Taz rests eyes on her. And he ends up cracking a grin, because that's just Marshy of her. And that's the advice from me. That's advice from me, not the spirits, she adds, releasing Taz. Now, Shu, I have one more reading, and I'm sure the man will appreciate my talents. She states, eyeing Strahd. Strahd notices her gaze and flashes her a grin, and she giggles. Taz rolls his eyes, but almost half-hearted. He wanders over to the group, looking as if he lost. He has a lot on his mind. Are you okay? That was a lot. Are you... Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm you want to okay. talk about it? Maybe later. Um, okay. Okay. It... And now I know how Calvin feels. Uh, yeah, some of these are a little... 
Yeah. Intense, I guess. Mine seemed really easy compared to yours. Yeah. Well, I mean, mine was still pretty simple, too, so I guess we were normal and... Well, I guess you're up, Strahd! Good luck! Have fun in the hot seat! Oh and boy. Again, he probably enjoys that. Oh. The matchmaker repositions a cushion or two and moves a, moves a few of her scented candles around until satisfied, sneaking a few obvious glances at Strahd as she works. I had a feeling you'd return, she hums, giving her station a final look before deeming it suitable. It truthfully did not look very different. The matchmaker slides up to Strahd and takes him by the arm, eagerly guiding him to the chair and encouraging him to sit. But for such a handsome man to want a love reading, your heart must be troubled, she continues. Strahd allows himself to be led, maintaining a pleasant smile. Ah, but is that not why you are here? To unburden my heavy heart? He quips, he, he quips slyly, setting into the seat as if it were a throne. Oh, stop it, she says in a way that means she most certainly does not want him to stop. I only convey what the spirits will. Then by all means, madam, proceed. I am eager to hear what they have to say. He replies, offering his hand. I don't know if Flame has the dialogue up. Oh no. Uh oh. We're shooting it again. <laughs> oh, if he's just buttering her up. Taz mutters to Marshy. Just look at him, he's calling her madam and everything. <laughs> I think that's just the way he is. The matchmaker raises an apologetic hand and Strahd pauses. I need to see your entire hand, she explains, gesturing to his gauntlets. Otherwise, the reading will be incomplete. Hmm, I don't normally remove my gauntlets, Strahd muses. But for you, madam, I'll make an exception. He pulls up a sleeve and works his left gauntlet free, and then the leather pad and then the leather padding beneath, both deposited safely in his lap. Strahd extends his hand, then the matchmaker is quick to take it in her own, admiring the lines of his palm. After a few moments she speaks. You do not want to let others in, she says slowly, brow furrowed. But there is one that sees this, sees your walls, and the heart beneath, she murmurs, growing more certain. Your soul speaks of its match, and of their large heart. Yes, their love for you is as big as the ocean. He raises a brow, surprising... Surpre he raises his brow, suppressing a chuckle. Love in the present tense? She smiles mysteriously. Does anyone come to mind? I... He starts, evidently caught off guard. Curious? He questions with a smirk. The matchmaker looks at him knowingly. Someone on your mind? She comments. Shrod goes silent, but slowly a subtle blush colors his cheeks, and the smile gifts from his face. He retracts his hand, and to Taz's quiet surprise... He lets... he... she lets him without a fuss. That woman... Taz grumbles. They're there. It's okay. Strahd looks at his hand, and he seems conflicted. And if I cannot love my batch as they love me, madam? He finally asks, voice gentler than you've ever heard. I have a feeling they will wait for you, she says looking a little sad, even if it hurts them. At that, she pulls away. Thank you for your patronage, she chirps, turning to face the rest of you. And it's almost as if she does it to give Strahd some privacy. Uh, you're welcome. It was, uh, fun, I guess. Strahd rises from the chair and returns to the group. There's a lingering redness on his cheeks, but otherwise he's back to being Strahd. It's been a pleasure, madam, Strahd says. Likewise, she hums. Feel free to come back any time now. 
You don't know if, you don't know if you will, but you all offer her a small assurance that you might. With that, you all regroup outside of her tent. I think we should try to go on dates, guys. Wait, what? I think it was. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Sunny. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna take a walk. Oh, Sunny never got a reading. I guess she wasn't interested. That's okay. I'm gonna take a walk. Wait, um, no, hold on. No, Marcia, you can't just be like, hey, let's go on dates and then not explain a thing. <laughs> look, look. Look, listen, listen, listen. Obviously, Strahd has one. A soulmate that's currently in okay. love. I think we know who it is. And yep. I'm curious on who mine is and I want to try to find them. Okay. I don't know where to start, though. Okay, Whoa. let's think. Let's think. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, no. Okay. I can't be someone who's in a relationship. Wait, all my friends are single. <gasps> this is an issue. Oh. oh. It's not you, is it? No. What? Absolutely not. It could not be. Okay. Okay, wait. Strong and determined. Are you strong? Are you determined? Um I, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting stronger, I train, I am literally in the guard. Maybe you're not strong enough. Hmm. Oh. How do I, how does one be strong enough? How do you know who's strong enough? Um. Are, are you going, do you have to test them or something? Do I have to tell, oh, do I, maybe I have to fight them. I don't want to fight them. Wait, but like. Uh, okay. Oh. Is that even? <laughs> Not to like doubt your your fighting prowess. I don't think I've seen it though. Like, can you like? Are, are you strong? I think. I mean, I fought the giant bug. And oh, I know. I have seen you fight. I'm actually insane. Okay. I... Sorry. The whole Oasis incident kind of like slips and comes in and out of my mind. That, not gonna lie. Well, okay, fair, but like we were running around and dodging, and you didn't die. So. Uh, I guess. I don't think they were trying to kill. Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. They probably weren't. Anyway, sorry, back to your predicament. Back to your predicament. Okay. I am. Okay, let's narrow it down. <laughs> um, not you. Prob mm. Probably. Uh, have you seen. Uh, do you, hmm. There's hmm? a lot of options to think of. Like, what if they're not even an heroine, bro? Okay. Oh, man. Ugh. This sucks. <laughs> Why can't she be a little more, like, specific next time? I don't know. Maybe there's something about how, like, they won't speak to her anymore if she, like, tells the direct truth or something. Maybe uh, it's like, a price to pay for seeing Of course, of the course. The, the spirits have to be vague. Or mm -hmm, else mm -hmm. if you have if you tell too many secrets, you really I don't know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you don't probably know hunt. like a lot of your friends, like there's Ravi. I don't who's kind of like stubborn, I, don't I guess. No, Ravi, I guess. That he might fit the determination bit, but I don't know. He's more stubborn if anything. Well, then... Dia's strong. I've seen her fight. But is she... Oh, you've seen her fight. Kind of. Okay, but, like, okay, is she strong, then? Well, actually, I haven't really seen her fight. I have seen her oh. threaten someone, though. Ooh. <laughs> no, but... Who, who else do I know of your friends? Who else do I know? Uh, I mean, there was Leon, but that's Leon, probably the same thing. No, not strong. Probably not. Or Le Leon. Yeah. I don't know, I have a 20 minutes. It's hard to think about. I don't know. <sighs> this is hard. Wait, 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 wait. This might be a really stupid, stupid idea. Isn't Damien both strong and determined? Uh. Uh. Oh, wait a second. No, it can't be him. Because in the truth or dare thing, he said that he had a wife. Has a wife. <sighs> yeah. You're right. I thought I was on to something there. <sighs> mm-hmm. Totally. Um. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Mm. Church for a redhead slash J. Look. 
Uh, Anale. Oh, she's strong and determined. That's true. She Anale was is. flinging us across the room like it was nothing. Hmm. Marsh, Marsh, what if she's your match? I don't know where she is. They both kind of ran off. Oh, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Um. Huh. Huh. I don't know, man. I, I guess I'll either. just wander the streets until I come up with something. Maybe, maybe it's not even someone I know. Like maybe, uh, maybe it's someone I'll meet. Like maybe that chick over there. That maybe that's my soulmate. And maybe. I just haven't. I just haven't met her yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll. Uh... Mine was a family one because I guess either I have no one or I guess they didn't want to tell me if I had a soul. I don't know. Maybe I, you I'm got a bad reading just... so they made something up and they didn't want to hurt your feelings. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Maybe there's, your soulmate actually hates you. Oh. That would be really sad. Oh, I'm that so would sorry. be really sad. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think oh. that would be the case. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I'll try to help Strahd. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Good luck with that. Tell me yeah. how it goes. <laughs> sure. I'm not good at this stuff at all. Fair enough. Neither am I. Good luck. Uh, do we want to meet up somewhere later? Uh. Check in on how our mission goes. Sure. Um. Probably one of the stalls. Yeah, I think there's like a. Uh, I don't know. Coffee! There's a coffee sure. stall. We can, meet, I think. we can meet at a coffee stall. There is one okay. around here somewhere. Yeah. All right. I'll see you. Yeah. I wonder where Taz went. Oh, well. He ran off. We'll meet up again Good luck, later. You too. I guess. Yay. Okay, Sunny. How do we handle this? Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Sonny, do you have any, 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 any inkling of like, like, I don't know. You move away from the others to think to yourself for a moment about the matchmaker's readings. You keep repeating, you're reading yours in your head, trying to decipher what it means. Your soul tells me you are tied to a strong and determined person. Strong and determined person. That could be anyone. Couldn't she have narrowed it down a little more for you? How are you supposed to find this person if the description matches everyone you know? You have the fr frustration and look around the group. You notice know, Sunny staying off to the side on her own and decide to go over to her. Maybe she'd be able to help. You're sure she's read at least one or two romance books? It would be useful in this situation. Sunny, hey! Sunny looks over at you and smiles. However, her smile immediately fades when she notices your expression. Oh no, she says. Did you get a bad reading? Oh, it wasn't really a bad reading, more so super vague. I think that's kind of the point, she says. What was your reading anyway? Strong and determined heart or whatever, something like that. I see. She looks over and she looks away thoughtfully as she continues. Yeah, you're right. That could be anyone. That's what I'm saying. It could be you. Wait a minute. Sunny flushes slightly. I doubt that. She says, I'm not strong at all. I, what do you... Maybe they didn't mean it physically strong. <sighs> Marashi, I faint when I get scared. Sunny says, I'm not strong at all. I think you're pretty strong. I mean, after everything we've been through, and you're pretty determined to go home to Gaia. Sunny is silent for a moment. Um, let's try a different alley, she says. Besides, soulmates are more about love, aren't they? I couldn't be your soulmate. Well, why not? Well, she hesitates. I see you more of a friend or a sister. She glances back at you, hoping what she said didn't hurt your feelings. Ah, I see. 
You're not sure why, but something about what she said made you somewhat sad. Your tail and ears droop downwards. Sunny notices this and speaks up again. Hey, don't be sad. We can still figure out who, you, who it is. Sunny says with a smile. You perk up slightly, and she continues. Let's think. Who else do you know that's strong and determined? That isn't me. Sunny says, quickly adding the last part on. Okay, well, uh... Leon's pretty- he's dragon strong, got the magics, determined to do his shop. I think he's a little too old for me, though. I don't know. Probably not him. There was Annalay. She's really strong. She beat me up. She hurts. She hits like a truck. But- and she's very determined to make people happy. But I don't know where she is. She kind of ran off with her brother. So probably not going to be easy to find her. Uh, I guess there's Damien, but, uh... Sunny raises an eyebrow at your response. Damien? She asks. You mean that kind of spooky dread? She pauses to think. I mean, I guess he checks all the marks, but do you really want him to be your soulmate? I don't think we get to choose our soulmates. I guess, she pauses. I'm not too sure if it's the- I'm not too sure if it's right, though. I mean, I guess it won't hurt to try. You know what that means if it's right, right? You pause for a moment, processing the situation. Uh, I, I don't really know how to feel, to be completely honest. <laughs> Sunny lets out a nervous giggle. I well, I'm sure it'll work out no matter what, she says. It's not like you need to find out right away. Yeah, you're right. Um, thanks, Sunny. I think I'm gonna keep looking though. Um, I'll see you later, I guess. Uh, bye. Oh, what have I got myself into? Chat. Oh no, this is not a good thing. Okay, well, uh, Marshy Monarch, what's up? Hey, what's up? Marshy Monarch! <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay, no, chat is fine. Um, oh, the sunset's really nice. That person scared me. <clears throat> Hello! person I've never met before. Are you my soul? Okay, sorry. They do not want to associate with me. Okay. Well, um, I guess we can, um, I guess we can go find Damien, maybe. I don't know. This whole situation is kind of making my brain go bar. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hello, good sir. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh. Well, who else would it be, though? I I, 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 I guess there is the possibility that it's someone I haven't met, though. We, I got. There's so many people in the world. It could be this person. Hello, guard. How are you today on this fine evening? Sorry, I'll leave you alone. You're definitely not the soulmate. I would have known by now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Be cool. Chat. Chat. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> <clears throat> I walk around not paying much attention to where you're going as you continue to mutter to yourself on who your soulmate might be. You turn a corner and bump into someone. <laughs> Sorry. You look up at the person and see that the one you crashed into just so happens to be Damien. How lucky! Oh gosh, why? Damien gives you a confused look as he notices your internal panic creep up to the surface. You stare back at him with wide eyes, unable to speak. Thankfully, he speaks first. Are you okay? Totally fine, actually! Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm cool. Super. He stares at you for a moment. Right. Okay, he says. 
Um, hey, uh, are you busy by chance? <laughs> Just go with the chat. You're not gonna drag me into some crazy oasis thing, are you? Oh, no, 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 nope, none of that. I just thought it would be fun to, you know, just chill for a bit. He raises an eyebrow. Chill? You nod and mentally prepare your, your argument for when he says no. Uh, sure, I have no other plans, he says. I promise I won't drag you into some crazy- Wait, you said yes? What? <laughs> Were you expecting a no? I- uh well, I mean, kind of. I thought I annoyed you a lot. Um, don't make me change my mind. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's totally go. Let's be chat, chat, chat. Be cool. Be cool. This is fine. We can go to the swing. <gasps> we can go to the swing. We can go. Where's the swing? Okay rock don't trip on the rock i don't remember the swing was are you with me i lost him damien hey buddy i'm sorry for being awkward i it's normal i'm always like this you should be used to it by now chat we need to be cool okay where is the swing you be cool I, no, chat you be cool oh here's where the swing is um yeah, swing, swing, uh, it's great, great fun things to do on fun, fun, festive. Would you like to swing? Where are you? <laughs> Would you like to swing? You don't seem like the swinging type. Let's not do the swing. Anyway, uh, yeah. How about, um, we can, we can, uh, 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 this is really awkward chat. Let's go up here. This is... He looks annoyed. I think I'm making it worse, chat. Ah, uh, the park! Yes, the park! Totally! And if we went to swing, there's another swing in here. Uh, purple trees are lovely, aren't they? What a wonderful place this is. So romantic. Not romantic, just chill. Very chill. I'm going to the swing because it will help me feel better about myself. How do I get to the swing? Okay. <clears throat> yep, I feel great. <laughs> I feel fantastic, chat. Um Don't please pump. Everything's fine. Chat. <clears throat> it can be a moment. I just <clears throat> chat, chat. You need to be cool. You all need to relax. I'm perfectly fine. Everything is normal. Everything's normal. Okay. <laughs> On the count of three, we're going to go back and we're going to talk to him like a normal person because this isn't normal and he knows that. And he knows I'm being weird. And weirder than usual. And it's not my fault. Are you sure you're fine? I'm totally fine. Okay. We're going to go talk like normal people now. Okay. Okay. Hello, normal person. Would you like to have a conversation with me? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know what? This is fine. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm calm. Yes. Don't, don't give me that look. Don't, you're making it worse. Stop. Stop. <laughs> don't, no, 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 no. Don't shake your head at me in disappointment. I know, I'm, I'm a disaster. Just be cool. I am cool. I'm so cool. Don't you think I'm cool? I'm the coolest person you know. I'm so cool. This is really awkward. This is, would you like to swing? Swinging makes me feel better. <laughs> no, not your thing. Understandable. You know what? Let's let's not swing. Let's actually just have a nice walk through the park. Walking through the park is normal. That's what normal people do. And I'm a normal person. And so are you. We are both normal people with nothing weird between us. Except for me. I'm the weird one, okay? I'm making everything worse. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. <gasps> Oh, 
I th oh, this park is overwhelming. I oh they're on a date. That's so cute. Oh my god, they're on. <clears throat> I'm moving on. Oh god, why am I the worst chat? Uh, <laughs> uh, the flower shop. <gasps> no not flowers do not do flowers you're just going to make it worse so much worse let's go eeny meeny this way calm down breathe and be cool <gasps> i'm calm i'm totally calm what's actually over here i don't think i've ever been on the side of the city have you been on the side of the city i don't think i've been on uh, what's over here Wait, I have been over here. This is where the bookshop is. One of these is the bookshop. Which one was it? This looks like furniture. This is Ikea. This is not the bookshop. I don't know. Where it was the next door, I think. Is this the bookshop? This is the bookshop. Oh, isn't it so pretty? So cute. There's no one here. Uh, we just, I think we just walked into a closed shop. We, it's like, it, it's late. It's, it's, the sun is all, like setting. They probably closed for the night. I don't know. Then they, maybe they close early. This is awkward. Hi. I'm normal. Are you annoyed yet? I feel like you're very annoyed. <laughs> You and Damien to continue to wander the streets of Arrow and as you try to figure out the best place to go on your date. No, don't don't call it that. That's weird. Don't make it weird. Why would you even think that? This is this stupid matchmaker stuff is getting to your head. You snapped out of your thoughts when you hear Damien sigh. <sighs> How do you manage to keep dragging me into this stuff all the time? You pause and look back at him. I mean, you said yes. It's your fault for not saying no. <sighs> I do say no. You always give me those stupid puppy eyes until I say yes. Okay, come on, man. Don't say that. I, I bet you actually like hanging out with me. You just refuse to admit it. He gives you a blank stare and says, No. Uh, you're a bit surprised by how quick his response was. You can't just bluntly say that. Huh? What makes you think I would say yes? You're silent, silent as you try to figure out the words to say in response. He waits patiently for you to answer. I mean, I don't know. You've never seemed to leave, even when I'm obviously annoying you. Like, right now, you're still here. I, I, if you were really that... If you didn't want to hang out, you would have probably walked away. You've done that before. Hmm. Damien doesn't respond. Also, I mean... I figured after what happened, you'd consider being a friend by now. He looks at you. I told you, he says. I don't need friends. I mean, have you ever tried? He looks away. You're both silent for a moment. Uh, let's have a- let's- let's play a game! Uh, no more stupid games. He groans and rolls his eyes. No, 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 trust me, trust me. This one, this one's simple, okay? And it's not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna drop any crazy secrets. Maybe. <sighs> what is it? He says reluctantly. Uh, it's called 20 questions. We can each take turns asking each other questions. Fine, I'll go first, he says. Why are you so nice all the time? What? what? Um, well, I, uh, I mean... Well, they're supposed to be yes or no questions, um... You didn't say that. I didn't get to it yet, um... But I guess it's only fair that I answer, huh? I'm nice because I feel like everyone deserves kindness. What if they're not a good person? Do you think they still deserve kindness? You hesitate to answer. Um... Let's start with easier questions. All you have to do is say yes or no. No need to elaborate. Um, I'll go next. All right, he says as he patiently waits for your, for your question. 
Uh, do you like the color purple? Yes, he responds. Easy questions, huh? He says, thinking for a moment before asking his next question. Do you like fighting? Um, uh, not really. I, I, it's kind of, I don't really like talking. I don't really like the hurting others. I feel bad. Huh. I guess that explains why you didn't fight those two back in the Oasis. He says. He pauses for a moment before speaking again. What will you do if you find someone who refuses to hold back? Will you fight then? Um, it's my turn to ask the question! <laughs> right. Uh, sorry. You take a moment to come up with your next question. Strange how the easy questions are the hardest to come up with. Uh, I d oh, here's one. Do you like your one? You ask. He thinks for a moment before answering. Yes. You smile at the response. <laughs> uh, okay, your turn. Do you like Erwin? What? You can't use my question! You never said I couldn't. Uh, Touché, I guess. Ugh. You think about Damien's question. You've met so many friends and made so m and made amazing memories with them in the city. Although you haven't been here long, it feels like Erwin is your home. Even when you'll eventually have to leave, you'll carry those happy, happy memories with you and cherish them forever. You smile as you answer. Yeah, I love it here. You notice Damien give you the slightest smile. Time passes as you and Damien continue to continue to ask each other questions. You asked, do you like chocolate? Damien was surprisingly excited to say yes. Seems the stoic dress has a soft spot for sweets. He asks if you like baking, and you said yes. But you're not very good at it. He smirked at your response, saying it was obvious considering your poor performance at the bake-off. You scoffed and moved on to the next question. Okay, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Do you think you could win a fight against a bear? Yes, obviously. Wow, okay, big shot. What? <laughs> Many questions later, you feel as if it's time to ask the harder questions. Okay. You said you were from Dramos, huh? Uh, do you miss it? Damien remains quiet. He blinks as he processes the question and looks away. Seems the question cut a little deeper than you expected. The somber look in his eyes says it all. You open your mouth to apologize, but he speaks first. Yes, I do, he says quietly. Uh, have you tried going back? He looks back at you. Isn't it my turn to ask you a question, he says, trying to change the topic. You go quiet, not wanting to push any further. He seems slightly relieved, and he continues with his question. Do you really believe in soulmates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you picked up on that. I don't know. It's weird. I guess, uh, was, uh, I mean, I guess a part of me wants to, because it's, it's fun. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hmm, interesting, he says. It's your turn to ask a question. Well, if you're asking the heavy hitters, there's one thing that was on your mind the whole time. Are we friends? Damien is silent as he stares at you. He seems slightly surprised by your question. He hesitates to answer, however. His expression softens a bit as he answers. Maybe. You perk up and feel a big smile grow on your face. <laughs> that wasn't a no! <laughs> it wasn't a yes, either, he shoots at you. You can't help but laugh in response. <laughs> Damien turns and begins to walk away. You call out to him, but he simply waves back at you as he continues, as he continues down the road. Good night, Marshy, he says. 
He didn't even notice it was already getting late. He paused as he looked back at you. Oh, and good luck on the whole soulmate thing, I guess. He says before continuing on his way. That, uh, yeah. Thanks. Good night, Damien. I'll see you later. <laughs> that didn't go as horribly as I thought it would. I think we can write that one off, though. There is... I'm lost. Where am I? But I guess that still begs the question if, like, if Damien's not a, my soulmate, then who is? <sighs> you know, I, let's not worry about it right now. That's for the future to hold. And for me to find out when the future decides to give it to me. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Funky. Uh, where was- where did Swan want to meet up? There was a little stall somewhere, right? Um... It is a little late. It's not super late, though. The sun is setting, but... Uh, this looks... Oh, there we go. There's- there's the... The, um... What's it called? The- the- the archway! Yes, the archway. You know, even though I actually kind of, I, I'm okay with how that ended out. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been so much worse. I definitely made it awkward, but at least, you know, or at least we were friends. And that's what matters. Friends. Oh, there's Taz. Hey. hey! How's it going? Hmm? How's it going? A bit better. That's good. Did you take time to cool off? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh... So what did you do? I... I already heard dates and I... I walked... Like yeah. Walk away. Uh, yeah, I think the whole like game. soulmate thing got to my head. I think I'm over it for now. I'll let the future give me my soulmate when it's uh, when it's ready to. I was gonna ask, who did you go on a quote unquote date with? I don't. Let's maybe I don't know if the date is the right term. It's more. It hangout. was just a hangout. Yeah. Part, <laughs> who did you hang out with? I actually met up with Damien and. You know, it actually was kind of nice. I need to apologize to that guy. What? <laughs> Why? I... Oh, yeah, you... Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Do I have to elaborate here, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I have nothing to defend me on that. Genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, there's a bell. <gasps> anyway. I got really excited. There's no one there, so it's not going to annoy them. <laughs> Yeah, right there. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, like, you said it got into your head. Why do you. Hmm? Why? Why do you get into your head? I don't know. I guess there's a part of me is like, the idea of having a soulmate is kind of fun. And I'm. I want to meet them, or find out who they are if I've already met them, I guess. <laughs> maybe... Who knows, maybe you met them already and you never knew. Yeah. That's... <laughs> or they're just someone I'm supposed to meet in the future. I guess we'll never know until it happens. That's yeah. okay, I can be I mean, patient. Maybe. <laughs> that's the thing about life. Life is a great mystery. Yep. Yep. That doesn't help it doesn't help that it was super vague. It could literally be anyone. No, her hers for me. Yeah, yours got you got a tough one. It, Are you yeah, feeling you better could... at least? Uh, <laughs> uh kinda not really. Do you wanna talk about it or 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind. Oh my god, hey. <laughs> Do you mind? Yeah, I literally said to, I said to you, hey, there's a person right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you ever want to talk, you can. Thanks, that actually means a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Did I ever tell you about my friend? Your friend? Yeah, the one who says I remind you. You remind me of her. Oh, no, actually. Uh... She was a great friend. Was. Maybe still is. I don't know. Hmm. It... Yeah. Uh... I see. Sorry for that. that it's fine. It, don't worry about it. It's good to get things off the chest, and, and I'm sure wherever they sucks. are, they're they're probably thinking about you. Maybe they're thinking the same thing. You know, there is one other thing, but I think that can be safe for a later time. Uh, sure. I wonder what's shot. Uh, Swan and Strahd are up to. Do you think they're actually gonna, you know, get Strahd with the mirror? Honestly, I could see it happening. I could. I wonder yeah. how it's going. Probably chaotic. Or maybe not chaotic. You never know. It could be actually going very smoothly. Yeah, you know, Swan's fortune was actually interesting. Yeah, I guess I never thought maybe that is platonic. Hmm. But I... I don't know. I guess there's a weird part of me kind of hopes that it's more than that. I mean, if, if it is, it is. If it is, then it is. And I, but if you find someone that makes you happy, then that's great. I could just be delusional. Also that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, genuinely. It's a... We're all delusional. It's... Yeah, chat, we are. Nah. <laughs> you keep on mentioning chat. I... Did I never mention them to you? It's a you little complicated. You mentioned a couple times, like, when we first met. Recently. Yeah. There, it's a little complicated. They basically are able to talk to me, and I can respond to them, but um, it's a little so, awkward when I do, because... I'm gonna ask, do you see them? Kind of. It's, it's weird. I hear it, them. Are they bull... Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes I just see little colors. Like, there's currently a blue and a purple one. There's Swan. Hi. Hey. Hi. How'd it go? Why How does it look French? like it went? Um. I. Hey, sir. Here, let's move somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Go near Leon. Yeah, let's go to Leon's shop. shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I can. I can, I can go in there. I'm allowed in here. Hello, welcome to the crystal shop. Would you like to buy something? Um. Does this place actually um, have a name? I don't remember. I could. I'll be real. I am bad at remembering things. Um, I've had a day. I've had. I've had. I think we've okay. all had a day. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. I'm kind of cold. That's probably what happens when you jump into the ocean. Why did you jump um, in the ocean? Wait, what? Well. Um... <laughs> okay. 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 So see. Um. Apparently. Um. Strahd has a twin sister that I didn't know about, okay? Oh. But apparently Strahd has told her about me, right? So I... she ran into me, just straight up near decked me, near murdered me on the ground, my head near cracked. <gasps> but uh, she then, you know, caught me, I guess. So it didn't happen, but you know, it was kind of like, oh no, right? I, 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 my heart rate leapt, okay? And then, and then she, I guess she, you know, I, 
you know, she, she, she's Strahd's sister. She kind of flirted with me a little bit, I think. I don't know. I don't... Whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. She pretty much then stole my sea belt, which if you didn't know, is this, you know, little uh, belt thing, this golden chain uh -huh. thing, you know, the circles. That's rather important to me. You know, that's from Bastios. This is mine. This is like my literal Navy identification. So like a dog um, tag, kind of? Kind of, yeah, exactly. Um, huh. She stole that, and she ran, and so I had to chase her all around Erwin, and then she, like, I finally caught her, and she was just laughing, and I'm like, why are you laughing? And uh, apparently, I looked kind of upset, and I kind of was, because I kind of got thinking, because, you know, when I was accompanying Strahd, he was all, you know, wanting to, you know, get all this stuff and choose it carefully for a mirror, and then I kind of kept thinking about the whole fact that I may not have a soulmate, and I got sad, and I probably shouldn't have, it was a little stupid, but whatever! So I, I kind of just, you know, left him to choose a gift for a mirror. Um, on his own, and I hope that goes really well. Honestly, I, I, he probably has good taste, frankly, but, you know. Um, so th th then she kind of talked me into, like, doing some other crazy things around town. Like, we we ran around, we did a lot of stuff that typically I normally would never do, and I kind of was like, hey, isn't this, you know, maybe either slightly illegal and or kind of dangerous and or 20 different things could go wrong? But she kind of, like, somehow each time convinced me that it was fine, Right, and I'm kind of just sitting here like, we, we okay. Um, and and then we climbed. You know that you know we have a lighthouse like way over there. We have a we lighthouse. Have a light I, oh, I've I seen climbed it, yeah. that. I she and I climbed that. I Wait, I you was, climbed I, that. I, yeah, I thought I was going to die. Um, crazy. I didn't. But then, Wait, then there was one last like thing she wanted to do. Okay, and she kind of was like, what if we? climb up the mast of one of the ships and what? dive into the ocean and i was what? like that is such a bad idea she was you, like, well, did you don't it? have to come if you want i did because okay listen i don't know i feel like you know i've gone insane somehow in the last hour because it kind of mm. seemed a little fun like obviously I have 20 different thoughts going through my mind like everything that could go wrong but like there was a part of me that wanted to i don't know why there was a part of me that was like what if i just do it you know, there's always that part of me that is like, what if I just do it? But there's always so many thoughts of like, okay, but it, it's gonna go wrong, you know? But you kind of just said, do it. Just do it. See if you can, you know? If something goes wrong, go from there, which I mean, only can work in some situations, because if you kind of die, that's not really, it's not really gonna work well, you know? But, uh... I mean, you would come Yeah, back, so she you? and I, like, dove into the ocean. It was kind of, yeah, um, and, yeah. That, I thought I had an eventful um, evening. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I'm gonna say this. So you basically went on a date with your boss's sister. I what? <laughs> Wait. 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 Is that a date? Wait a second. Was that a date? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Is that, is that what a date is? Um, I just know that well, was a date. I had no uh, idea. I was on a date with that. <laughs> Is that why she was flirting with me? Oh, yeah, I thought there, that was just something she did because she is Strahd's sister. <laughs> Surely that is simply, you know, normal. I think the the, also the flirting side note. the flirting made it. Yeah. Also, a side note, where's Dan? Oh, yeah, I was oh. gonna ask. Has, has have you guys seen him at, at all? I don't think I have. I, no, I, was kind of I just got blitzed. here. Blitzed. Yeah. So you went on a date, or she hanged out with someone. I yes. toppled. Him. Come. I did not go on a date. I, I refused to call it a date because that's weird. Why is it a hangout? Yeah, it's a hangout. Just a hangout. Uh. Ah, I see. So, should we go find Such powerful Dan? words. Yeah, oh, yeah probably actually, should we probably go find should. Dan. Like, cause didn't he just say he was going to go uh... look around? It's actually kind of weird that I didn't spot him when I was, you know, all the way up at that time. Then again, that, you know, lighthouse is kind of tall. So. Dan. Um... Dan, the man yeah. with the plan? Dan! He didn't tell us what to do if we lost him. Uh, Marco! Hey, it's gonna be fu fine. Fine. What? It's on? Sorry. Um, I was- I, I zoned <laughs> look, out. Chad, I- look, I was distracted with my existential crisis. Wait, I, I, over there! Over there! Over huh, there! Huh, Dan! Huh? What? Dan! Oh. Hi. Hi, we Hi. were looking for you. Where have you been? Around. I Around. Guess. Yeah. Damn. Kind of up and then down and then everywhere. You're gonna be proud of Swan. Oh, I guess you were still in the area. I I Huh, I must have missed you. Yeah. Um Sorry, Taz, what were you saying? 
I was saying, hey, you should be proud of Swan for what she. For what? <laughs> What'd you do? Apparently, according to Taz, what happened to me was that I went on a date with Strahd's twin sister, Satea. That's wild. <laughs> I I didn't know she existed. She ran into me. Um, it was wild. I literally dived from the top of like the, the mast of a ship into the ocean. So I'm soaking wet, by the way. Um, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Um, hmm. Apparently, that constituted as a date. Uh, I just I just interpreted the fact that she was semi occasionally flirting because she's Strahd's sister, and that is what a, you know. I guess the addressees do, but. I'm gonna go home. That's a lot to process. I think I'm. I I need to go. Oh, home. Okay. <laughs> well, er how, was, how was your? It was. It was. Out, it, out it was fine. You... Um, but I. I think. I think. I think I might have like sprained something. Um, oh yeah, you should rest if you're hurt. Oh, yeah. uh, do you wanna do you want a potion to take on your way? Uh, I have like one no, more. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. okay. Um, you're sure. I guess. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Uh, okay. See ya. Bye. Bye! Oh. Huh. Well, it's I like, mean... He felt a little... Maybe. It's I, just he strange. was probably just the, the pain probably just getting tired. to him. Yeah, or tired. Some, something. In you know, pain. But... I would be a little like, eh, kind of like, I just want to go home too if I was mm -hmm. tired and in pain. I'm just, I'm thinking too much into it. Yeah. It's fine. Hopefully um, that whatever you hurt feels better in the morning. Put some mm -hmm. ice on it. Yeah, I hope so too. Dan seemed off a little bit, but I'm sure it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope Sure it's fine. fine. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it is kind of getting late. I guess so. I probably should get back. They're yeah. probably gonna want to put me on a patrol. Oh gosh, yeah, patrol. Is Where it gonna be a night look? one? Yeah, that happens sometimes, yeah. Oh, good luck. Maybe you can yeah. you can smooth talk your way out of it. <laughs> what do you mean smooth talk my yeah, way out of right. it? You don't have any of that. Okay. Wait, no, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think by this point that being around Strahd so much would have rubbed off on me in some way, but... No. <laughs> it hasn't really. Well, uh, bye. Yeah. Um, See you later. It was fun. Yeah. I kind of want to take the long way home. I don't know. I'm in a, I'm in a kind of good mood. And walk down the beach I'm sounds fun. Join you. Sure. I mean, we're going to the same place, aren't we? Yeah. Hey, Marsh. Hmm. I have a question. What's up? Do you think I'm forgettable? What? No. Why would you think that? It's... <laughs> it might sound stupid, but... It... I'm just a kind of forgettable guy. I don't... I'm a downer. Not really fun to be around me. What? I don't think that. That, that kind of means a lot. Taz, I... You're a good friend, okay? Don't... think... otherwise. And even if it's... Maybe other people will think I don't like that Taz guy, but at least know that I think you're cool, okay? And as long as one person thinks you're cool, that's all that matters in my book. Uh, hence why I don't really talk often during when just when it just you honestly or me I kind of just me. thought you were just introverted, which is fine. It's kind of part of that, but not fully. Hmm. It's just I'm not sure that anybody really wants to listen. Hey, if you ever want someone to listen. I look at my ears, they're huge. They're, they're good for listening. Hey, so are mine. <laughs> I think mine are bigger. Yeah, they are. 
Now you need to have the food for your tail. Yeah. Which hey, it's a little scorched. <gasps> oh, it's better. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Which is weird. Because it shouldn't. Huh. I don't know. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe it's magic. Magic floof. I want to I mean, go walk on the beach. With that soft, or how soft it is, yeah. Well, that actually helped a lot. That was kind of the thing. A lot of things, but I'm. I hope you have fun. I'm gonna actually take a different way. I'm gonna just clear my head. But thank you so much. Oh. And you kind of remind me of a, of a sister, so. Oh. It's okay. Well, uh, I'll just meet you back home. Oh! You got it, yeah. Here. Thank you so much. Mm hmm. I'll see you back home. See ya. <laughs> Oh. Chat. Today's a weird day. Also, dang, I got siblings on twice today. That's wild. <laughs> That's fine. I just need to be patient. My soulmate will show up eventually. Probably when I least expect it, to be completely honest. But I'm sure when the moment comes, it'll be like, Boom! I'll know right away. Is that how that works? Definitely. <sighs> yeah. I'll know. 